Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will learn the basics of Writer and discuss all features of the Home tab. Now at this point, you may ask where is the Home tab in this interface? Don't worry, we will come back to that shortly. I have created this whole document to discuss different features with examples and different questions that can come into your mind while going through this tutorial. So, let's get started. As I mentioned before, we will discuss the Home tab first, but this interface is not tabbed, so how to change it? This is also the first question of the document that we will discuss. To do so, go to View and select User Interface. This window will show you different variants of UI on the left side and its preview on the right side. By default, it is Standard Toolbar. We will select the Tabbed option and click Apply to Writer. You can see your interface is now tabbed just like MS Office and Nitro Pro. You can use the standard one if you like, but this UI gives you a cleaner look and ease of access as compared to standard UI, in my opinion. Let's discuss different options for Home tab. To practice different features of Writer, you need some random text. The good thing about Writer is that it can give you a dummy text paragraph for practice. For this, type DT and press the F3 key and you will get a dummy paragraph for practice without going anywhere else. To duplicate text, simply use copy and paste. To rewrite this paragraph to the duplicate paragraph heading, select it and click copy or press Ctrl C. Now place the cursor here and hit paste or use Ctrl V. The paragraph is now duplicated, saving you from the hassle of retyping. That's the beauty of copy and paste. If you want to remove text after the word wasted and write it after the new paragraph heading, then select it and click cut or use Ctrl X. This will remove the selected text from here and copy it into the clipboard. Now place the cursor here and click paste. So, the main difference between copy and cut is that copy duplicates the selected text while cut moves the selected text from its original location to a new one. Next is how to change the font of below sentence into Lucida handwriting. For this, select this sentence and change the font from this drop-down menu. By default, font is Liberation Serif. You can change it to any other available fonts in the list you like. Next is how to change the font size. For this, select the text and use this drop-down menu to change the size of the text. You can make it bigger and smaller as per your need. If you want to increase or decrease text size step by step, then use these two options. This will increase the size and this will decrease the size. Now, we will discuss some text decorating features. To make text prominent and thicker like this, use bold or control B for shortcut. To make text tilted, use italic or control I. For underlining, use Underline or Control U. You can also choose different underline options from the drop-down, like Dash Underline. You can also use these options together, like Bold and Italic. Bold and Underline. Italic and Underline. Next is how to write a sale price where the old price is cut with a line. This is done with a strike through. For example, write $4,999. Select it and apply strike through. Next is subscript. It is used to write a chemical formula like this. For example, to write CH4, select 4 and apply subscript. To represent exponents in any formula like this, then superscript is used. For example, write a square plus b square. Select both twos and apply superscript. Next is how to set the spacing between characters. This is done with character spacing that increases and decreases the spacing. Some spacings are predefined here. 
For example, loose increases the space. And tight decrease the space. You can also set a custom value. Positive value increases, and negative value decreases the spacing. To change the text color, this option is used. For example, if you want the sentence color to be purple, then select it, and choose purple from the given colors here. If you want to give a custom color in hex code, then select, and copy the color code. Now, select the sentence, open the font color palettes, and click custom color. Paste the hex code here using Ctrl V, and click OK. Custom color is applied to the selected text. Next is how to highlight this word with green color. For this, we will use character highlighting. Select the word and choose a green color from the given palette. If you want to highlight multiple words, then choose the highlighter color first. This will change the cursor into a bucket. Now, you can highlight multiple words you like. And, to exit the highlighter, press the escape key. Next, is how to duplicate the same styling of any text on any other text. This is done with clone. For example, you want to copy styling of this text and want it on this text. For this, select the text with styling and click clone. This will change the cursor into a bucket. Now, select the text you want with the same styling. Same styling is applied without any hassle. If you want to clone style on multiple words, then we will double click on the clone. For example, you want to apply this styling to these given words in the paragraph below, then select the style, and this time double click on the clone. Now, select all words you want with the same styling. When happy with the results, press the escape key to disable the clone option. If you want to clear all styling of the text, then simply select it and click the clear option here. Next, we will discuss types of lists. There are two types of lists, unordered lists and ordered lists. Unordered lists are represented with bullets. For example, to convert this list into an unordered list, select all list items and click this. You can also choose different bullet styles from the drop-down. Ordered lists are represented with numbers. For example, to convert this list into an ordered list, select all list items and click this. You can also choose different numbering styles from the drop-down. Lists can also be nested, like this one where an item also has its list. For example, this list has two main items, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Chapter 1 has two sections, Section 1.1 and 1.2, and Section 1.2 has another section, that is Section 1.2.1. Similarly, Chapter 2 has also two sections, Section 2.1 and 2.2. To make it nested, first, select the whole list, and apply bullets. Now. For Chapter 1 both sections, place the cursor here and press the Tab key. This will convert it into Chapter 1 nested list. Similarly, press the Tab key for Section 1.2. As Section 1.2.1 is a nested list of 1.2, so, for this, we will press the Tab twice. Repeat the process for the Chapter 2 sections also. This outline option and these style previews are linked to each other and are used for creating the table of contents. So, we will discuss them later in detail in the next videos. Next are different types of text alignments. First is Align Left with shortcut key Control L. In this, the text is aligned with the left margin and it is also the default alignment of the writer. Next is Align Center, and the shortcut key is Ctrl E. This aligns the text in the center of both the right and left margins. Like, select the paragraph, and click this, and it will look like this. 
Next is the right align with shortcut key control R. In this, the text is aligned with the right margin, like this. Last is justify with shortcut key control J. It aligns the text with right and left margins and tries to fill as much space as possible, like this. If you want to increase the space between text and margin, then indentation is used. Increase indent is used to increase the space between text and margin, and decrease indent is used to decrease the space, like this. Formatting marks are the hidden marks that tell you about which and where are different spaces, and breaks are placed in the document. Clicking on it will enable the marks in blue color. It also helps to identify extra or missed spaces if you have done mistakenly. Next is line spacing. It is used to set the spacing between each line in the paragraph. For this, place the cursor in the paragraph and choose any predefined value from the drop-down list. Less value decreases the space and greater value increases the space, like this. Next is the background color. For example, to apply the orange color to this sentence, place the cursor anywhere in the sentence and choose the orange color from the given color palette. Now, the question arises here that what is the difference between highlight and background color? The difference is very simple. Highlight color highlights the text itself, like a highlighter pen on printed text. It can have no color in between like this. But, background color applies color to a whole sentence or paragraph, even if it has no text, like this. It cannot have some text without fill, it fills the whole area. The last feature that we will discuss of the Home tab is Typing Directions. There are two ways of writing, left to right and right to left. Left to right, which is also by default, is used for writing left to right languages, like English. Whereas, right to left is used for writing right to left languages, like Arabic. Now, at this point, you may ask what is difference between right align and right to left option. Well, right align, with left to right typing direction, only aligns text to right. It doesn't change any language settings like bullets and indentation, like this. But, for right to left, it changes the settings as per language direction like indentation, it starts from the right margin and ends at left margin, like this. Similarly, bullets are placed at right, and ruler starts from the right side. These features are also available in their respective tabs, so we will discuss them there. For now, that was all for the Writer's Basics and its home tab features. If you still have any questions, feel free to write in the comments section. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.